How's it going guys? It's your boy Flint here from Backyard Blasters. I've got a shotgun here with me today and this is one of the biggest toy guns I've reviewed. I've only just got it in frame I think. Um, I've got as much as I can anyway. Um, so it's another one of the 9mm um, bullet shooting toy guns and there are quite a few available as you can see here. Uh, so the Mauser, are the KG9, those are the first two I've reviewed and there's a bunch of other ones here as well. They're all the blasters available in the line. We'll just quickly go through them. The Mauser, I think it's a Desert Eagle, KG9, Revolver, Sniper Rifle, a QBZ, that was a fun one, AK-47, another machine pistol, I don't know the name for that one, uh, another machine gun, not sure on that model, an M4 or an M16, and the Spaz shotgun. Here's a picture of it on the front, uh, if we flip it over, on the back here, you can see there's some little pictures down here on how the blaster operates, how to load the magazine and shoot the foam dart, because these do shoot foam darts and rubber bullets. All right, so we'll go ahead and open it up. Alrighty guys, now this one, I think it's modeled after an 870 Remington. I could be wrong, M1014. So here it is. As you can see, it is one to one scale. It is very, very nice to shoulder. Starting from the back, you've got your stock, the grip here, the trigger, magazine release, the magazine bit here where you pump, tactical rail there, there and underneath. So three tactical rails, oh, plus one on top. So you've got a total of four tactical rails and at the front, front iron sight and red tip. Included, there's a bunch of ammo, nine millimeter rubber bullets and some foam darts. So first off, we'll test one of these foam darts, see what happens. Now we'll give the 9mm rubber bullets a go. Now as is the case in most of these blasters, the rubber bullets shoot a lot further than the uh, foam darts. That's simply because the foam darts you always got to put at the end of the barrel and so, you know, the air has to travel all the way from here to there. Whereas when you're shooting the rubber bullets, it goes straight from behind the rubber bullet. All right, how many have we got? One, two, three, Four. All right, four rounds. Let's pop that in there. I'm gonna have to cock it back. Put the magazine in. So we've got one in the chamber, three in the mag. Just pull the trigger to fire. Like so. And we're out. This would be great for filming with as well because it is one-to-one -one scale. It would make for quite a good prop. And this is made from a solid ABS plastic. It is quite durable. And it's got a bit of weight to it as well. So there you go, guys. That completes the review. I'll be doing a range test shortly to see how far these rubber bullets fire. Thanks for watching, guys. And I'll see you in the next video.